How's it going, my power geeks? Well, today I have a special video for you guys. It's not something I usually do, but today I'm going to be showing you how to not paint this, but paint this. Now, this is something I usually don't do, but I really wanted to show you guys how to paint this because if you guys check out my Instagram, I usually post a lot of pictures of this and how my my work in progress pictures of this. But a lot of people ask me how I paint this. Um, and if you guys don't follow my Instagram, shame on you guys for not following my Instagram. There's an Instagram for Surfer at Surfer, which is me. There's an Instagram for We the Geeks of East LA, where I show how to like paint this. Now. I was filming this for Instagram and I figured, you know what, why not post it on YouTube and show all of you guys how to paint this. You guys always ask me, Danny, how did you get a screen accurate gobble revolver? Well, it's not screen accurate. This is the gobble revolver from Sudan Sentai Koryuja. And I just painted the barrel, I painted the black lines, I painted all this. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Again, guys, I just want to let you guys know I am not an expert in doing this. This is just the way I do it. Uh, I'm not an expert. I don't have the right tools. I use what I got in order to make this. If you're under age, 18 and under, make sure you have a parent or a guardian with you when you're purchasing a spray paints and uh, when you're actually trying to attempt to make this. Please wear a safety mask. Um, I didn't use it for my tutorial. Uh, wear a safety mask, wear some gloves because it is going to get messy and uh, use eye protection wear. And make sure you follow everything that I do in the video and you do it outside because it's going to get messy. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, start our tutorial. Alright, so today we're going to uh, paint this gobble revolver to make it look more like the shell. You know, paint the actual silver on that instead of it looking gray like this and we're gonna paint the uh, red too and someone messed up this paint job so we gotta fix it so uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna take the uh, right here this revolver piece off we have the screwdriver it's a cross um, right here in the revolver there's one two three four screws we're just gonna take those off now that the screws are off, we're going to go ahead and take off the top piece right here. I still have the screws inside there because I don't want to lose them. We're just going to set that aside and that's what the inside looks like. We're going to flip it and try to take this piece off now. And then uh, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now you have these two pieces. Uh, these were badly painted. I can't remove the yellow tape, so I'm just going to tape over it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I have some blue tape right here. We're going to tape all this. And then we're going to use the knife to cut out and trace the areas of the yellow. Alright, so I'm putting the first tape right here. Um, I'm putting it all like this. And I want to squish with my finger all the areas of the revolver it's because we don't want paint in between those. So we want it to stick real good. Um, and I'm doing this with one hand, so it's a little complicated, which is why I'm like putting down the the uh, camera as I go. That, but I'll show you when it's finished. Okay, so here it is. It's best if you don't have these, but you know, this is like a little fast tutorial on how to do this. But it's best not to have all these little bubbly lines. But uh, this is one. This is how it looks when it's taped. This is before it's taped. And again, this is what we're fixing. We're fixing this terrible paint job. Now, with the knife, we're going to go ahead and cut off all what we want painted on. So we're going to cut off whatever's going to be yellow. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys later. Okay guys, so it's best if you have an X-Acto knife. This knife really isn't good for it. But all you do is you trace the uh, pattern that's already on this one, for example. And uh, you just trace the pattern and once you cut it, look, you can easily take it off. And see, this is what we want. 
We want this, this right here, because this is what we want painted. But uh, now we're going to go ahead and do it for this and this one. Alright? So this is very tedious. Uh, you got to cut right and, uh, you know, just take off the tape slowly. Because you don't want any of the black to be painted yellow once you start spray painting. But yeah, this is very tedious. I suggest you take your time. And I suggest you use an X-Acto knife rather than, you know, a box cutter like I'm using. You know, make your cuts more precise and, uh... It'll be a lot more easier for you. Alright guys, it's uh, pretty windy, so I apologize for all this wind. But uh, see, this is how it's supposed to look once you're done taping. Now we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for this one. And uh, we're going to leave it like this. This is, this is what you want. You know, a little bit more perfect cuts, but you know, that's the way you want. Alright guys, so I just finished taping both. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, spray paint process. But first I, can, I need to clear out my table mess so I can get started. Alright, so I just uh, cleared out the table. And I'm going to be using this this uh, spray can. This is Gloss Protectic NML. Blah, blah, blah. Pardon if I uh, mispronounce that. But yes. I got this at Home Depot. This is the uh, yellow that I'll be using. I think it's best for this. And uh, let's go ahead and we need to shake it. I do suggest you guys do this outside. You know we're inside a house. And please use a mask. The reason I'm not using one right now is because I'm speaking to you guys. And I want it to be as clear as possible. But yes, we uh, shake the can a bit. And, uh, whoa. Okay. I just opened it up and what you want to do too is you want to spray a section of like the area so what I'm using is I'm using foam right here to protect the spray paint the whole area and then everything starts smudging so that's yellow so yellow's already spray painted and uh, we wait for it to dry all right so now we're gonna take the uh, bottom head of the dinosaur from the revolver right here so we're gonna need to paint all this this kind of silver and we're gonna paint these silver too on the inside all right, so there's one, two, three, and four screws that you're gonna need to take out. Once you take those out, you remove this piece. This is uh, moves the uh, revolver up and down, and there's the other bottom piece. So with this one, we're no longer gonna need this, and we're gonna focus on these two. Right now. All right, guys. So. Uh, we're going to be taking off this piece and we're going to be painting that silver. It's going to be the same thing for the other piece. And I believe these are all the screws we're going to be taking out. All these Alright guys, so I've taken out some of the screws. I like using tape. I put the screws on the tape so we won't lose those. I'll show you how. Alright, so I've taken the screws and I put them in this tape and I just squish it so they won't fall off. But these screws are for this. You see, you can tell it's really windy, but there it is. We've taken out this gray part and we're going to paint it this kind of silver. And we're going to do the same for the other part. Alright, so now we got both of these uh, cool stencil like things that go on the revolver. We're going to start painting those silver. Uh, I already put my uh, foam here where I spray paint. Now I also got this one. This is the Metallic Paint Primer in One. This is the Titanium Silver. I also got this at Home Depot. And uh, we're going to do the same thing we did with yellow. We're going to shake it. Shake it really good for about a good minute or so. I've already been shaking it. 
and uh, we're gonna do a little test spray on one of the corners here there we go see now it sprays really good we're gonna go ahead and spray this again if you guys have a face mask I prefer you guys use that and please be outdoor I'm gonna gently do this from afar and we need to try to make sure that nothing that can be spray painted is wrong. We don't want any spray paint. Let's see, you can already see color difference changing on this. Let's see, more silver, and this is just gray. How the toy looks, but we don't want that. So here we go. Voila. Just like that. And then we are going to set these aside so they can dry somewhere else. Alright, moving on. So, there's another piece of the revolver that has to be silver. And those are these little, uh, I don't, I forgot the exact name for these. But yes, these, uh, these have to be silver. So, how do you take those out? That's easy. You see these two screwdrivers? I mean screwdrivers, these two screws over here. We're going to take those out. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so just get your screwdriver and you twist those off. And I already did that while I hold the camera with one hand. And uh, I'll show you guys. Alright, so those are two screws. Again, I use tape to uh, cover those up. You can easily just pull this off. And you see that one screw? We're going to take that screw off after. Let's tape these things up because we don't want them to get lost. So I just put them on a piece of tape like this and then I just cover them up on the tape. That way we don't lose them and we just set them aside with the other ones. So now we move on and we're going to take this screw off. Well, it's a little blurry. Sorry about that guys. But uh, okay, I just took off the screw right here. And here you go, here's the little barrel. I think that's what it's called, but yeah, here it is. And this is what has to be painted silver. And uh, gotta show you guys something else. This also has to be painted black. This inside piece has to be painted black, and I'll show you guys why. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys why that little, this little piece has to be painted black. This is a revolver that I have already painted. Um, if you can see, it looks black inside, right? That looks way cooler. Um, a little more show accurate, so when you're pointing it, it looks black. And uh, if you don't paint it, you see how you can see the, uh, the uh, yellow? It doesn't look cool. It really doesn't. So this is why I paint the inside black. I wish I could show you guys side by side, but unfortunately I'm holding the camera with one hand and I can't show you guys, but yes. And I apologize for the chickens in the background, but yes. So, so now that we have this piece off, we're going to go ahead and take off this piece off for the other side, and it's the same rules that apply we take off these two screws and we take it off. Again, the piece is off. I took off the screws and I already taped them and I can tape them with the other screws. And uh, now I'm putting everything side by side. So again, this piece has a different screw. And you're going to see that the screws are different. Um, the reason I'm going to be taping these together is because these are the specific screw that goes on here for this barrel and keeps it intact. Alright, so now I got both uh, screws from the barrel, take them up, putting them on the side. And uh, now this barrel comes off, and now we got both of those. So those need to be painted silver, which we're going to get to right now. But first, we need to set aside all these pieces and make sure we don't lose anything. Alright, so now I have my uh, foam piece over here, and uh, this foam piece, again, is where I paint so nothing gets painted but uh we're gonna start painting these these uh, little barrels we're gonna paint it with the same uh titanium silver that we painted the other revolver pieces and uh we're gonna go ahead and start painting 
again, it's always best to shake the camera, uh, the camera, shake the can, so, uh, it doesn't just, uh, mush the paint onto whatever you're painting, and, uh, there we go, um, again, I'm not an expert in this, but I get a lot of people asking me, how do I get it to look like the show? And this is basically what I do, guys. And I just wanted to share this information with you guys. Um, this is, it again, so you guys can go ahead and try to do your own. I suggest using a face mask. Unfortunately, I'm not using one because I wanted to talk to you guys better. And, uh, of course, do this outside. But that's, those. these are the pieces, and we're going to set them aside now so we can move on with the rest. Alright guys, so now we're moving on to these uh, pieces of the barrel. Alright, so again, we want to paint this black, but we're not going to get to that right now. We're going to get to this side. You guys probably don't know this, but this side of the uh, barrel is yellow. And I don't know if you guys ever noticed that, but I'm a guy that notices all this stuff. But I'm a guy that notices all the stuff, and this is the uh, finished one. As you can see, the finished one that I did, the uh, it's silver. So we're gonna paint that silver on both ends. See? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So we're gonna need our tape again. Our tape. We're gonna tape whatever we don't want painted. And if for this case, we're going to tape all of this because we just want this yellow piece that uh, needs to be silver. So let's uh, go ahead and do it. I'm going to pause the video and then I'll show you how it looks when it's done. Uh, okay guys, so this is how I, I have taped, it. I've taped the barrels. Um, and this is just for this little spot that needs to be silver. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start spray painting that and making it silver. So again, you know, gently spray a section so it doesn't like splatter all over whatever you're gonna be painting. And one, two, three. There's one. One, two, three. There we go. As long as it looks silvery. And there we go. Now we set these guys aside for them and wait for them to dry. Alright guys, so we have the bottom side barrels over here. Uh, remember, you, uh, I was telling you guys that we want this painted black. So, what I have with me is uh, this uh, paint marker. Uh, I got this paint marker at a, at a store. I'm pretty sure you guys could even use a Sharpie um, for this process. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this paint marker. I'm going to shake it up a bit, get it ready to start painting. But um, I'm pretty sure you guys can use any other um, Sharpie or anything out there just so we can paint this. And I'm going to go ahead and paint one and then I'll show you guys how it looks at the end. And this is something we're going to have to do to the other two that we just spray painted. So uh, bear with me guys. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I tried my best. Uh, it doesn't have to be super perfect because the silver uh, barrels are going to cover it. But as long as this looks like this, it should be fine. As long as it looks like this. Uh, this paint marker is kind of running out, which is uh, my bad on my end. But uh, as long as it looks like this, straightforward, it should be fine. And now time to do this one. Alright guys, so I painted the other side again. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it looks like this, straightforward. So now I got these two pieces painted, uh, one and two. Uh, but we're gonna have to do that for the other ones that we just spray painted silver. Super windy, guys. Super windy. I'm sorry, but uh, let's see what we have next. Okay, so while we're waiting for other stuff to dry, we can start painting this uh, um, tip of the barrel. Um. Chrome, chromish, um, a little chrome red. Um, the TV show one is like really sparkly red, um, and the this is the Japanese revolver, and this is just flat red. So what we're gonna do is now that we've painted the inside black, we're gonna tape over everything that's yellow, and then we're gonna 
do a metallic red. I got this spray can at a at a anime shop that sells uh, Gundams. If you guys built Gumpa, you know Mr. Hobby. Uh, this is good stuff. I, I really like Mr. Hobby. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can use any of their paint for any plastic, uh, anything plastic you guys want to paint. But uh, let's go ahead and tape these. Guys. Let's go ahead and tape these guys up, and uh, I'll just spray paint these guys. All right, guys. So this is what I did. I just taped all of the edge of the yellow. I didn't tape the inside. That's because when I'm spray painting, I'm just going to aim all on the top and not from the bottom on the inside. I'm sorry, it's super windy guys, super windy. This is a bad day to spray paint. But I'll go ahead and start doing the same thing for this one. Alright guys, so now I got both pieces taped up. Um, I'm going to go and start spray painting with this uh, metallic red. Again guys, um, this is just stuff I have. Um, if you guys... You guys can probably go to Home Depot where I got the rest of my stuff. And um, you guys can find, you know, like your own metallic red and you guys can use that metallic red. But this is what I'm going to use for right now. We're going to do a little test spray, you know, so nothing splatters onto the plastic. There we go. And we're just going to do like from afar, we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, as many as you need. Just don't overdo it because if you guys overdo it, it's going to, it's going to, drip paint all over your whatever you're painting and for this is this is gonna be you know the gobble revolver so we don't want any of that stuff I'm sorry I don't know why this thing's so blurry let me do this one. okay I think it's focused now all right so let's go ahead and start doing this from far um, since I didn't take the center black I'm doing this from top like this so we won't spray paint any of the black that we just painted whoops there you go. Make sure you guys are aiming right too. All right, one, two, three, four, like that. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. I think that's good. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, guys. So now we got the up. Uh, now we have everything that needs to be painted, painted. And now I'm just waiting for stuff to dry. Um, that's the other barrels that we just spray painted the uh, silver. There's the uh, red, and then there's the other silver parts. And uh, now we wait for everything to dry. Alright guys, so the uh, barrels that we uh, painted silver, look, it's already dry. So we're going to go ahead and take off this tape and then proceed with the other step for this. Alright, so now as you can see, it's a little silverish. You know, this would definitely need another coat. But you know, there it is, it's silver. So now we're gonna proceed and we're gonna do the same thing that we did to the other ones. I'm painting the inside black. The inside black. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I went ahead and I painted the uh, barrel that was already silver. And uh, here we go. This is the silver one. So these are already painted black. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did to the other side of the barrel. We're going to tape all of this with the blue tape because we don't want any of that painted. We want this to be the metallic red that it is. So let's go ahead and start taping. Alright guys, so this is another problem. Do you guys see this little, uh, uh, little crease on here that's yellow? We're going to need to tape that, believe it or not. So, it, it's this is, you know, the design of the Galba Revolver, which is why it has that little dent on the side but it's all part of the design so we're gonna need to tape that I'll go ahead and try to tape it as good as I can because I don't want that to be painted red so let's go ahead and try to do that so tearing and ripping tape you kinda get you know that little circular um, shape that you need for the dent but there it is now we're gonna go and do the same thing for this one all right guys so there you go uh i taped both of them i'm gonna go ahead and start spray painting with that metallic red sex spray paint that i used for the other side and um let's go see how let's see how this is gonna look it's gonna look really good again guys i'm not an expert in doing this i work with what i have 
this is how I do my YouTube videos with you know all these props and a lot of you guys ask me how I got it to look like the show uh, this is the way I do it and again you know I'm not a pro there's other people that can probably do this way better than me and their revolvers will look way better than mine but this is the way I'm doing it this is how I'm showing you guys this is the process I do in doing the things I do um, a lot of people ask me you know how I get to do all these things this is the way I do it guys I'm not a professional I don't have the right equipment I don't have the right tools I do it best with what I got but uh, there you go so now we got both of these spray painted red and we're gonna leave everything on the side and wait for them to dry all right guys so most of this uh, stuff right here is already dry I'm gonna start uh, taking off the tape and start putting start reassembling some of this stuff so I'll go ahead and try to take the tape off all these all right guys I'm sorry but very important when you're taking off the tape you want to take it out slowly just in case there's some in-between stuff that's not dry you don't want it to smear and smudge but uh there we go see slowly all right here we go they're nice and beautiful chromish reddish let's uh get the uh other side of the barrel i guess so you guys gotta make sure that the barrel closes like this like so but before we even close it we need to put one of these metal ones back in there so here is one of the barrels now we're gonna put the screws back where they go all right guys so remember this barrel piece has the uh, These guys go right here. How do we know that? Because this top piece is what connects onto them. There's no top piece down here. So we're gonna flip the side, and this is where the are the flat screw heads go on. Just these two. I taped it those, so now those won't get lost. And the two screws are on. There we go. See? And you see now. There you go. See how that silver is no longer yellow. Now it looks cooler. So uh, now we're gonna go ahead and put the other barrel on that gun. All right, guys. So now we got the uh, little barrel things on. We're gonna place these on. See the difference? This is what it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. We're gonna place these back into place, and then we're gonna screw them back on. There we go. All right. So we got all the screws on, and look at that looking good guys it's looking good now time to place the other one on the other one voila guys we have this side with all the screws and we have the other side so what's next we're gonna put them back together so I'm gonna have my sister here hold the camera because I need to show you guys how to put this back together all right so you see how we have these two little teeth out we have the two little holes right here where those are going to be in. We want it to move those like this, right? And I already have tape here. That I never took off the screws off. I put the tape on top so the screws were still in there. We're going to do the same thing for this side. We have the two little teeth mark and the two little holes. And we're just going to place those on top. Make sure that they're on those little hole marks. This is where it gets complicated you also want it to connect with the other side. So, there we go. You heard that snap? That means they're put together. Now I'm going to take off this tape. This tape is holding totally the screw that we're already in there. Yeah. 
have it. Still functional. Alright guys, so now that's left is the barrel for the revolver. And we're going to take off the tape like we did with the other ones. We're going to take them off slowly because we don't want any of the paint to come off. So I'll go ahead and do one. Alright, so we're going to take this tape off slowly because we don't want any of the paint to rip off with the tape on. So, there we go. See how it's going? It's going, it's going, it's going. See, if you tape it right and you have the patience to tape it right, you get cleaner cuts. And if you have an exacto knife, because I wasn't using an exacto knife, so my cuts weren't precise. But there's way more better ways you guys can do this. This is just my way. I'm not an expert, but this is just the way I do it. Pretty sure there's way better ways you know someone that actually knows how to paint could probably do a better tutorial on how to do this but this is my way we take off the tape slowly 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 see this is how I, this is how this is how I do my revolver this is how I make it more accurate and again, you know, some of those, some of those spots, um, some of those paint spots that are, you see there weren't mine. That's from the other paint job from before, but I didn't want to, you know, I couldn't take it off because I was afraid that it was going to take off some of the black. But there you go. There's one barrel. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the other one. Alright, so now I've taken off the tree off the reverse. Look how beautiful they look. This could be better, I guess. But uh, if you're patient, you can make it look better. So you see these two little holes right here? We're gonna find the, the side where they fit in. And uh, we're gonna place them in there. Okay? Uh, I believe this side is right here. You just gotta make sure they go on the right foot. There we go. So we got one side. Now, we need, now all we need is the open side. Place it. Now that it's placed in, we gotta screw these screws where they go. Alright, so now we got all the little screws that we have to screw back on. Make sure that you got all four screws. them back on. There we go guys. Look, we'll spin. Let me turn this on. So look, it's on, it opens, close, spins, fires. There you go. That's how I paint my goblin revolvers. You guys can go ahead and make, you know, like, there's these certain paint markers that are specifically for like lining. They're called panel lining markers. You can also find those in, you know, wherever they sell Gundam toys and stuff. You guys can go ahead and, you know, make more detail out of it. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Awesome. So guys, with the panel line marker, you see all these little black stuff I made? Um, you guys can go ahead and do that. Um, they're called panel line markers. Um, I don't suggest you guys use like a sharpie marker, thin point. Uh, the panel line markers are for plastic, so um, I, that's the way I made all these 
um, there are things, but, uh, yeah, panel line markers. Don't use a Sharpie. I mean, if you have to, last resort, you guys can go ahead and do that, but I don't suggest it because uh, panel line markers are for plastic, so it will stay. So, uh, yep, there you go. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have it guys thanks for watching um again this video was super long i really didn't expect you guys to stick around if you guys did stick around thank you so much if you guys fast forward is thank you very much and uh, <laughs> for those that didn't well thanks for the view anyway but please guys give this video a thumbs up please share it and um please leave any other questions down below in the comments and i'll be more than happy to uh, assist you guys with any questions I might have answers to. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and please check out our other videos. Thank you guys for watching and stay awesome guys. Stay awesome.